Okay, so um, this is a video in the classroom. Yeah, it's a, li a live classroom uh, about uh, a simple database exercise. We'll make it topical, as you know, it is the UK uh, election. So we are we are going to import the data for the UK election. Yeah, in London. Yeah, and uh, we are going to try to use uh, queries uh, to uh, extract information from the database. So the way we are going to do it, we are going to download the file first, yeah, and then create a database, but import the file, the CSV file, a text file, the CSV file we downloaded into the database. Yeah, we are going to do that. Uh, first thing is first, I am going to create a a folder, yeah. Uh, I'm going to create a folder. Uh, so if I call it UK UK General Election London Database. Okay, I have the folder, right? So I want to download it here. Uh, just remind you from um, from this lesson you learn how to import data csv file into the database into a database file uh, and i want you to really understand what a database query is and be able to create a simple query yeah and some of you you learn how to create reports as well okay uh, so where do we download the data from from this website so I am going to go to this website yeah and uh, the way we are going to work on this is some of you would download only the database if you find it easy. some of you may download the CSV file okay so we can work in two different ways okay so the first file is the CSV file. So we are learning about file format. You see, the file extension tells us about the identity of the file. CSV file is a text file, which is, in this case, separated by a comma. Yeah? Um, the database file is ACCDB. Now, database file has rows, columns, queries, forms, so complex, right? It has its own Id uh, identity. It's like a passport. The file format is a passport. The CSV file is very simple. Let's download the CSV file. Right click and download. For those of you who may uh, actually use uh, actual uh, uh, database, I have done another video. You could use that. Uh, show in folder. So the CSV file can be opened with Excel, but it's a simple text file. Uh, if I put it inside the folder, copy and paste it right click edit with notepad plus plus it's a text file software and we can see this file is separated by a comma okay so I had to dig out all the information from a newspaper uh, uh, article evening standard yeah and rewrite it in such a way that we can import it and the first row contains the heading yeah um, okay so we are going to import this file if we are going to import it we are going to work on it it has to be available for us so the first thing we need to do is we have to close it here we cannot import it while it's open yeah okay uh, and I'm going to create the database file first yeah to create the database file what do I do new new folder I have got a folder already Microsoft access database thank you very much like that um, London shall we say London UK uh, general election 2019 right is that a good name it will do uh, after creating it, what shall I do? Open it by double-clicking, right? Okay. 
okay let me close the other one so that uh, and let me close also the text file enable content at the moment this is a database file it's empty it has nothing right we want to import the data how do we import it the question so this is the extension uh, learning requirement for some of you so all of you could appreciate it so only some of you may do it today it's up to you click on database tools and no no external data because we are going to get external data so click on external data to be able to import and uh, then text file and uh, we need to browse and find the file oh okay uh, I close the folder containing it so I have to get it the long way okay the file is here so I'll copy the path to it and and then I would import it click open alright so I'm importing now I'm communicating with the with the text file click OK and the word delimited who knows the word delimited countries are delimited by borders right high high level okay all right it's uh, um, delimited means separated okay so uh, uh, characters you know so the data was if as I showed you earlier it was each data were separated by a comma so comma delimited they call it right and next so I choose comma and the first row contains field names so what do you think I should do here I should click on it S do you see look at this the data was like this but when I click on here this one becomes the field headings yeah so things are actually for me nicely and next and uh, perhaps the, shall we add the primary key or not do you know what a primary key is we will will add the primary key I know why because similar will make it similar to our assessment click next okay let access add primary key we agree to that good click next and the t database is going to be created with this name we say finish and the table is here we double click it taking time I think the computer is experiencing resource problem maybe I need to close open in design view okay it opened so if I change it to this is how the data is imported but I need to go back and change check if the data structure the, t the, s the table structure is correct yeah so click on view and uh, ID auto number that's good candidate do we need 255 correct uh, field size we don't have 255 characters the longest name if any one of them have a doji long name <laughs> yeah some of them may do let's say 30 yeah 30 right uh, and party the party names tend to be sh short enough 25 says Marcio so I'll listen to Marcio constituency maybe doctor doctor Han what how, how many characters do you think do you, eh? the, how many characters do we predict uh, the names of the constituency in London would need some of them maybe eh, eh? Mm, 
12, so let's make it 25, yeah? Just in case we get it wrong, right? Or we can even make it 30, but if it's 255, it would be too big. It would make the database unnecessarily big, yeah? Uh, uh, incumbent, you know, the leaders who are actually leading the, uh, you know, the constituency at the moment. Uh, names of the, you know, so it would be 25, the maximum. Number of votes, this would be, if it's number of votes, the data type should be what? Should be number, so we need to change it from short text to uh, number. Yeah, and it would be long integer, is that's fine. Uh, or we can make it integer. Maybe long integer. Some of them make it. Okay. All right. Click view. Oh, incumbent. It is yes or no, right? So we need to change it from short text to yes, no. All right. Click view. And yes. Some data may be lost. That's fine. I think we are we done it. Uh, correctly yeah and uh, this is the data all right uh, so we have edited it we need to be aware of what data we have now we have to create the queries okay knowing the data will help us when we create the queries so what queries do we have to create let's let's have a look in the task uh, create a query to display the party members from the conservative party so we'll be able to see uh, all the party members, including maybe Boris Johnson himself. Let's 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 check. This is we are trying to find queries help us to extract information from the database. So we have the data. We need to extract the information. How do I create the query? I need to click on create and query design. I add the table and double click and I'll drag down the fields another way would be to double click or drag and drop each of them separately normally should double click should work as well uh, I think because you are uh, watching uh, th my computer is getting nervous maybe uh, and we want which ones? The conservatives, right? So, the conservatives, if we see, you know, we know how to spell conservative, but, so, you know, the way it's spelled, some of it conservative, and some of it maybe spelled slightly different spelling, conservative party, yeah? Uh, because of that, what we are going to do is, I will copy this part, and when we do the query, anything like conservative, yeah? Even if it's mistyped. So, under a party, we have to specify the criteria. So, control V to paste. But then, we put the asterisk sign. So, like conservative. Anything like conservative. So, we have added the table. Yeah? We have added the fields and the criteria. So, when we do the steps for query, query is way of asking questions in the database why to extract information now the steps we follow first we need to know the data we have then we need to add the table we need to select the table and then the fields we want included we set, we put them we can specify whether we want them displayed or not then we put the criteria oh we want only conservative let's see uh, and if we save it first, this is how we save. Save, save as, save object as, object, and conservative. And run. So all the candidates from conservative parties are displayed here. 73 candidates from conservatives. Boris Johnson is there too. Where is he? He's uh, for Oxbridge. Yes, Boris is spotted. All right. Yeah. Uh, 
Personally, I'm a, a big fan of his uh, look and his media approach, but uh, not his policies. Yeah, uh, but I'm not here to make that comment. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, uh, if I make the, you know, if if I make if we created the query for uh, conservative, labor could be upset if we don't do the same for them. So create. What do I do? Tell me. If I want to create query, query design, right? And then we add the table. Okay. Close. And then we need to add, after adding the table, what do we add? Data. The fields, right? Yeah, it's data, of course, yeah. And uh, drag and drop. Normally, the double click should bring it. I think it's maybe because of the recording uh, uh, window here, or and labor so we want to put anything like labor because some of it is written as labor party some of it as labor so and the asterisk sign so like anything like re labor run how many candidates for labor oh 73 candidates for labor as well okay good S save object as labor uh, how about if we want uh, f to be used for any party? Let's see. Uh, create. This is called a parameter query. Yeah. Uh, create query design. And I, l if I add all of it. And uh, let's say we are searching for a candidate, yeah, and enter the candidate, so within a square bracket, candidate name. But how about if we, m if we don't type all of it, so we add the asterisk sign anything that's typed like that oh it hasn't worked for me all right R oh ah so it's giving me the result for everyone okay let's limit it just uh, when we get the name right yeah run okay uh run and when we have corbin let's see no we need to get his name right so let me get let me search for his name if i ascending and i search for corbin Ah, Jeremy Cormier. Yeah? All right. So if I search for him, if I create a query just to search for him, no. Uh, if I run it, and then I t I, t I put Corwin's name here. Click OK. I'll find Corwin's detail. So this one, we can save it. Search, save object as search for a candidate okay uh, all right any question <coughs> 